League members. No? We'll take the check, please. <laughs> we never get a break. <sighs> Man, I love the LEGO series. This kid-friendly franchise has charmed the world with their lively take on almost every major franchise in the world, including Indiana Jones and Star Wars. But now, it's DC's turn with their sequel, LEGO Batman 3, Beyond Gotham. This game makes up its own story and does it right. Brainiac uses his powers of the rings of each lantern core to take over the universe and shrinking nearby planets to add to his collection. In pursuit of Brainiac, Batman and the Justice League must travel into the far reaches of space to stop them. Next up is presentation. The animations look great, and the plastic sheen on the characters make them look like the real Legos we all come to love. Superman Cape looks awesome flying behind him and fluttering as he flies through various worlds. And the camera is still in the bird eye view for multiple players and big action scenes. And they even have the Adam West Batman costumes. Sheesh, that is awesome. Precisely, Robin. You mean... Precisely, Robin. Precisely. Precisely, Robin. The only possible meaning. Alright, so gameplay in LEGO Batman 3 is pretty much the same controls as previous titles. You have your basic attack, your action button, and your superpower that's accustomed to the hero that you choose. And finding that right hero that's tailored to your playstyle brings LEGO Batman to another level. Now, the LEGO franchise focuses on two main things, exploration and building, which is all accustomed to the world design. And the world design in this game is even better than ever. From the Batman cave to the watchtower, everything is perfect to the nicest, smallest detail. And that brings another charm to the series. My only problem with this game is the tedious puzzles that slow down gameplay and game flow. When you're a superhero, you want to stop bad guys and use your powers and all that. But when you stop and try to solve a puzzle that takes you like 20 minutes to solve, then that's that's just bad. This is not Prince of Persia. This is a Lego action game. But I do like the combat and the bosses that you have to take down with the fun patterns that you use. Like the big Batman boss made out of bats. How cool was that, man? Alright, so our final verdict, the gameplay grade, I give it a solid B-. This gameplay was simple, fun, and addictive. Superheroes, battling, bad guys, creative world designs, everything. Aside from the too many puzzles and other, you know, small flaws, the gameplay was fun, creative, and an awesome time. The replay value for this game is skyrocket high. So many content to unlock, so much things to do, so many heroes to be in this game. It is, again, another great Lego Batman game. And for the Consumer Report, go ahead and buy that full price. This is worth it. This is not another, you know, Assassin's Creed year to year, or, you know, like Madden. This is well worth it. They put so much love into the story, so much love into the content, and I'm really proud of this. And if you're a collector, go ahead and collect this game and add it to the Batman, Lego Batman 1 and 2 and all the DC and Lego games you have. This is a really worthy title, and I'm glad the fans got what they were waiting for, this brand new story. Well, that's it for today's video, but if you want to see more, go ahead and click on my main channel, Alter Element Games. There, I have videos ranging from gameplay highlights, full video game reviews, music soundtracks from some of the best games, and gaming and news updates. Keep it live here at Alter Element Games, and visit my fan page on Facebook and Twitter. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and thank you for supporting my channel. Cafe LA, peace and love, I'm out of here. Alter Element Games where gameplay is everything.